Hello, users, and welcome to episode 700 of Above It All. I'll talk more about that after I talk about the subject matter, because I know conservatives have low attention spans, and I just want to get the actual material out there first. So Donald Trump is out here defending the Confederacy once again, because he's a fucking moron. Mental health counseling. This week, you said that Black Lives Matter and the Confederate flag are both matters, issues of freedom of speech. But in the case of the Confederate flag, there are a lot of people who say these were traitors who split from this country, fought this country in large part to preserve slavery. Is the Confederate flag offensive? It depends on who you're talking about, when... Let's just pretend he said, is the swastika offensive? Because that's really the question at hand here. You're talking about when people proudly had their Confederate flags, they're not talking about racism. They love their flag. It represents the South. They like the South. Stop people right now flag. like the South. I say it's freedom of, of many things, but it's flag? freedom of speech. So you're not offended by it. Well, I'm not offended either by Black Lives Matter. That's freedom of... The idea that he is directly comparing Black Lives Matter to the Confederate States of America, the bloodiest war in American history. At least it took place on American soil. What? Those are, the, those are equivalent? People demanding equal rights are the same as millions of people dying? Actually, how many people did die? Let me look this up. Maybe I should have looked this up earlier. Confederate or Civil War total death count. Six hundred eighteen thousand two hundred twenty-two. In context, though, keep in mind in context, population growth. That's a lot of fucking. That's a lot of fucking people. Six hundred thousand people died. Because dot like because of this fucking idea that black people are lesser than even Abraham Lincoln thought that black people were lesser than white people, right? And he even tried to free the motherfuckers. He tried and failed in a lot of ways, but that's another story for another day. The Confederacy was a fucking country based on obscene war crimes, crimes against humanity that we're still dealing with 150 years later and then we probably will still deal with thousands of years later like in the sense of like wow how did these people get away with this and then as a footnote in those history books you're gonna see donald trump say this fucking shit like, it, it's, it's truly remarkable. They love their flag. It represents the South. They like the South. People right now like the South. I say it's freedom of, of many things, but it's freedom of speech. So you're not offended by it? Well, I'm not offended either by Black Lives Matter. That's freedom of speech. Let me, and, let me, and, you know, the whole thing with... Cam the idea of him saying, oh, it's freedom of speech, it's freedom of speech. That's just fucking, like, sound bites for his stupid 4chan base, right? This guy is having federal secret police Gestapo units kidnap random people off of fucking city streets in Portland. Freedom of speech! Cops are beating the shit out of disabled people, children, and fucking elderly people. They're beating the shit out of Navy veterans for just trying to have conversations. Freedom of speech! Freedom of speech! Go fuck yourself, you stupid, entitled cunt. Cancel culture. We can't cancel our whole history. We can't forget that the North... Again, what is it? Okay, let me just finish. ...the South fought. We have to remember that. Otherwise, we'll end up fighting again. You can't, you can't just cancel all... But, but let me ask you this one. It gets to be more than just cancel... Well, maybe this is... Sure. The National Defense Authorization Act, the NDAA, you have threatened to veto it because in the bill, and this is supported by Republicans as well as Democrats, it would rename army bases named for Confederate generals. Now, this is a bill... Okay, real quick. It's not cancel culture to say a flag that, symbol like, that symbolized racism is racist. How is that cancel culture? And also, how is that r forgetting history? What? You need, a f you need a swastika to remind you of what Adolf Hitler did? How about books? History fucking books. How about documentaries? How about a fucking... How about Wikipedia? 
How about all these other sources? You don't need statues commemorating these evil, ghoulish monsters in order to fucking remember history. What the fuck does that mean? To remember history? What? Again, the right wing is stupid. These people are dumb. They're not bright. They're just low IQ. That's what they are. They are low IQ. And it's fucking gross. It funds military operations. It gives soldiers a pay raise. Yeah. You're going to veto no, that? because they'll get their pay raise. Hey, look, don't tell me this. I got soldiers, the biggest pay raises in the history of our, Understood. Of our military. I got soldiers, brand new equipment, brand new jets, brand new rockets, brand new 2.5 trillion. I did more for the... 2.5 trillion. 2.5, okay, all right, what about 28 million fucking evicted families? Or people, I guess, that make up families. 28 million people are going to be homeless by September if Trump does nothing. And we all know that Trump's going to do nothing, and so are the Democrats, because there is no opposition party. The Democrats are a controlled opposition party. This is a fascist country. We, do, we have, like, maybe three fucking people in Congress, right, that are even remotely human, right? Like, let alone have an entire fucking, const like, a, a fucking opposition party that's functional and actually in opposition to the things that Donald Trump is doing. We have homeless people literally crying and dying on the streets during this pandemic, and he's... Pay raises for the military. Believe me. Beautiful. What a waste of fucking money. The military than any president that's ever had this you're office. Veto this because thing? I think that Fort Bragg, Fort Robert and Lee, all of these forts that have been named that way for a long time, decades and decades. But the military and says they're excuse for me. this. Excuse me. I don't care what the military says. I do. I'm, I'm supposed to make the decision. Fort Bragg is a big deal. We won two world wars. Nobody even knows General Bragg. We won two world wars. Go to that community where Fort Bragg is in a great state. I love that state. Go to, go to the community. Say, how do you like the idea of renaming Fort Bragg? And then what are we going to name it? You're going to name it after the Reverend Al Sharpton? What are you going to name it, Chris? Tell me what you're going to name it. So there's a whole thing here. We won two world wars. Two world wars, beautiful world wars that were vicious and horrible. And we won them out of Fort Bragg. We won them out of all of these forts that now they want to throw those names away. And no, I'm against... The, I, I love how he's like, by the way, saying, I don't care what the military says. And then he says, go to the town, see what they say. <sighs> he just said that he doesn't care what the military says. And then says, go see what the military is saying. Like, what? And then, like, beautiful world wars? People don't remember the fucking fort. Right? People, okay, don't need to know the name of the fucking fort. It's the people that served. It's the people that fought those world wars. What was World War II about again? Something about fighting an F word of some kind? Not fuck, but an F word. What? What? Hmm. What was that political ideology that they were fighting against? I... I can't remember. Please, someone refresh my memory. And you know what? Most other people are. And I even, I don't believe in polls because I see the fakest polls I've ever seen. But that poll is a 64% thing, which actually surprised me. We won world wars out of these, out of these military bases. No, I'm not going to go changing them. I'm not going to so go you'll changing them. I might. Yeah, I might. At Mount Rush. What a fucking idiot. He's so stupid. Anyway, 700 videos. That's a lot. Thank you for this. Honestly, I'm going to do more of these Trump videos um, just because he really just fucking ran his mouth for a long time. I really have to pee, so I'm not going to do a big outro like I planned on it. But thank you for watching these 700 videos, these beautiful 700 videos. They're all great. Believe me, they're tremendous. Recently, like Really, I think I would divide above it all into two arcs. One, like, the primary arc, and then two, like, the unrest. And I've been really enjoying the interactions. I've met a lot of really nice people. I'm sorry if I can't reply to every comment. I really do try. It is, like, something that I'm really trying to do. But, like, the more and more attention I'm getting, it's harder to do. And, you know, it, it, it really, I'm sorry. Like, I, I deeply apologize. If you want me to do something, if you want me to cover something email me, send me on Twitter, send me on Discord. You know, a YouTube comment is probably the worst place if you want to really get my attention. Now, I would like you to do keep commenting because that engage, you know, engagement, analytics, you know, makes the videos, you know, search more, like like the video, all that crap. Do that anyway, and I'll try my best to respond to every comment. But 
if you really need to get my attention, say if you really want a story for me to cover, send that to me in a, like a private message of some kind. That way it's like directly gets my attention. But either way, this video is 10 minutes. Thank you, MAGA boomers. Have a good one.